Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily change out these pool spa eyeball jet fittings. Now these are actually come in a pack of five. It costs more if you buy them individually. They're like five bucks a piece if you buy one at a time. But these, if you buy them in a bulk of five, they're about maybe 10 to 12 dollars for a bundle. If you're interested in these pool jet fittings, just check out the links I have down in the description below. Just find the correct fitting for your make and model pool and this one here is three-fourths inch opening where you see the eyeball jet right here and this thing is able to adjust 360 all the way around at different angles the actual larger part fits into a one and a half inch housing that is mounted to the pool PVC part this pool is well over 20 years old so it's about time to change out these older fixtures that are all worn and deteriorating so I actually bought a two-pack of five so about a total of ten of these and replaced it all throughout the pool. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to remove your old fixture and put in the new one. So your old one, you may have to use a adjustable wrench, a large one, to where you can grab around the neck of it. And you don't wanna to apply too much pressure because then it will crack the actual housing. So you just wanna apply enough pressure to where you can leverage it and kind of wiggle it away from the pool. And that's all there is to it. When it comes to installing the new one, I just hand tighten everything and just try to seat it in there flush and then I'll remove the eyeball and the retaining clamp so that I can use the back of my adjustable wrench and tap on the back of it to push it in further. The handles on the adjustable wrench are rubberized so it prevents you from cracking it with the other side of the wrench. After the main housing is situated, all you have to do now is get out your eyeball and your retaining eyeball clamp and you just want to tighten it down to where it's nice and snug because if you tighten it down too tight then you can't adjust the eyeball. I personally like to have my eyeballs on my outlets pointing downward and straight because it makes the water move around in the pool in a vortex like motion and everything will be leading back to my pool skimmer. And most times the bottom of the pool is the most neglected and the water just kind of sits sedentarily down there so I like the water to push all the debris around so that the pool pump can do a better job of filtering out all the debris. Here are a few pieces that I replaced that are old and here are the new ones that I installed in this smaller pool here. Well that's it for today's video, I hope this video helps you to figure out how to change out your eyeball jet fixtures in your pool. If you want to check out these products or any other variations of it, just check out the links down in the description below. But please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share this video and as always thank you for watching.